Mike Raddich here at the Impact Fight League weigh-ins, and I'm joined by Mr. International Shoney Carter. Shoney, how are you? I'm doing outstanding. Can't complain. What brings you to this event? I was called by Brian Sheeper. He asked me would I come and do a guest appearance in corner. I'm like, sure, why not, Brian? Why not? You're not retired, are you? I can't retire. I, I mean, if I'm not fighting or training somebody or pro wrestling, acting, I'm going to be doing something all the time. I'm, I'm not moving in. I'm on the move. <laughs> Where are you training at these days? Every damn where. Between the health clubs and Flow and it May, Midwest Training Center. I teach at Keller's Martial Arts over in Chicago. Come on by. Uh, come on by. 3718 West Irving Park. That's how I plug my school. Yep. I haven't been to Midwest Training Center in a while. I got to go by there and have them kick my ass a little bit. Yeah, you know, I got a fight coming up. I better act like I got a fight coming up. Shit. <laughs> no fights coming up. Who are some guys that are on your radar? Who are some guys you'd like to get in there and smash? I ain't got nobody on the radar. I want, I want more money. I'm, I'm just... I'm at that age now where I'm like, if they throw me a tough fight, throw me a big paycheck. Get me a medium fight, throw me a big paycheck. Get an easy fight, throw me a big paycheck. I, I'm just paying bills, living life. Going to Greece, Bulgaria, and Istanbul, Turkey, and Canada, I think. And trying to go to Africa again. Because I went to Egypt before the turmoil. Are you under contract with anybody? I'm under contract with anybody who shows up with a paycheck. Ready to be cashed by me. You fought all over the world. You fought a bunch of fights. What, mo what more do you have to accomplish in the sport? More belts. Um, work as a... Work as a manager. I don't want to be a promoter. Promoter's job sucks ass. Why too much babysitting? Not just that, but the egos of fighters. I don't want to be corrupt. I don't want to fuck over the fighters. I mean, I, I care about the fighters. And I don't want to be that asshole. I turned down a promoting job a couple of times. I'm like, no, I'll promote jujitsu tournaments. I ain't got to do shit but collect money, and fights, matches, rest, referee by points. Hand out medals and trophies and plaques and super fight belts. That is the easiest shit, because one plus one is two, and two to one wins. So if my taps out, there's no judge's criteria. I don't want to deal with the headache of doctors and commissions and you know, all that. Ugh. You're getting sick just thinking about it. Nauseated. I'm glad I'm drinking a Sprite. How many belts do you have? Okay, uh, I gave one to a special needs kid. One got stolen. One needs to be two need to be repaired. So I have 13 world title belts, a total of 16 belts. Yeah. WEC, IFC, King of the Cage, Extreme Challenge, Iron Heart Crown, WFC, WGC. I said WEC. Shidokan, a few of them. The Illinois State Championship for kickboxing. Damn, I can't even name them all now. I got a lot. I got a lot about it. I got to ask you. You had a fight with Matt Serra. You knocked him out by a spinning back fist. Did you yeah. practice that, or was that just part of the game? I actually have a black belt in Shidokan Karate, and I'm a child of the 1970s and 80s. Samurai Sunday at 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon after church. You would race home and watch Kung Fu and Karate on TV, and that's where it came from. And then I fought a nine-time world champion years ago, Manson Gibson, the Ty Killer Gibson. Look him up. He's like an icon of kickboxers. He actually almost knocked out Ernesto Hoof. Almost. Yeah, and uh, we, we fought, and he threw a spinning back fist, and that was the first time I seen it. And the only reason I didn't see it because I ducked under it. So I was like, holy shit, Batman. Don't let that shit hit you because it's all centrifugal force. I'm just going to axis move slower than it does on the end and it's and his mass energy is transferred from the axis to the end point which based at the, the natural high point of the arc of the parabola it will subsequently cause a concussion due, large due to the fact that it only takes 15 to 20 pounds of pressure per square inch to cause a mandibular dislocation or a subsequent concussion I know you MMA fuckers don't understand what a damn thing I just said basically it would hurt if you think about the principles of hitting a home run versus a, a, a double or a single in baseball. A home run, you hit the ball real hard. You hit the ball and it goes to the shortstop, you didn't hit the ball that hard. That's what it means. Lamest terms. When do you expect to be back? March 10th. I'm 
I'm in Bordas, Bulgaria. Then I'm going to go over to Greece and go swim in the Aegean Sea and go to the Hell's Gate where 300 was filmed. Then I go to Canada, I think in May. Africa or in Brazil. I'm trying to get to Brazil, damn it. I'm trying to get to Rio in April or May. I don't care. I'm just going to fly my hand. Hey, pay me that much for that one. I'm just trying to get to Brazil and, and lose my passport for an extra seven days. It's all I need. 14 days. You already plugged your gym. Anything else you want to plug? I want to plug Stacey Adams. I want to plug my children. First of all, Sierra, Samirian, Andre. Oh, let me start over. Sierra, Renee, Samirian, Andreas, and my retirement plan. Kavion Osiris. K.O. Carter. That's my baby boy. My five-year-old is going to be thumping it. And if my nine-year-old shocks me, he's the dark horse. Samirian, Andreas. That's my little Conan. But boy, boy, I'm looking at that five-year-old with potential. He can do 25 push-ups already on the perfect push-ups. Yeah, I'm just letting him do what he do. I'm like, you just do what you do, boy. Do it. Do you be five. Turn six. And, you know, I mean, wow. And it, it made, a daughter, made my daughter be the management. And they think I'm rough. But you deal with the, uh, 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 what's her name? Sierra. I like to call her the queen. She was here before. Let me see my school. Um, if y'all want a free training session, if you're in Chicago, come to Export. I give you one free training session and the rest you gotta buy. I teach you to be a gymnast. I've been doing gymnastics. I took Ryan and showed him some of the hot shit I've been doing with cross training with everything. Gymnastics and football. 